Not a hoax, not an imaginary story, no more speculation. DC Future State, we see the covers, we see the creative teams for the two-month event. What does it look like? How is it? Is it as bad as you thought? Is it, as, is it better than you thought? Is it great? Are you excited? We're going to go through what we know and what we've seen and the actual titles of creative teams, everything else, right now. Well, as promised, we finally have our look at Future State. Now, what, what is Future State? Where does it sit? Where, where does everything go? There's been so much kind of back and forth. Um, I think the important thing to note here is despite one new site in particular, and that's Bleeding Cool, saying otherwise, uh, this is, what we're seeing is, is not this radical departure from what was planned. Um, now, it, I think condensed is correct. But remember that some people were claiming that Future State was going to completely reverse and, and change these characters into what we're seeing kind of on the screen right now. And we'll get into all the details. Um, but uh, what we're actually getting is a two-month event, basically a large handful of titles. This is the bridge between DC kind of current and DC new. Um, the 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 DC new is whatever the plans are rolling out in March of 2021. And the DC current is really kind of what we have with uh, the various continuities, what they're doing with death metal and, and everything else, creators shifting around and, and so on. So DC future state is running in January and February. It's um, it's got about, Oh, uh, two 14 issue. Sorry. Two issue. 14 two-issue series. There we go. So 28 comics, as well as a large combination of some one-shots and some anthology titles and everything else. I think we're looking probably around 50 comics or so, uh, all when all is, is considered. So this is what we've got, future state, kind of the future of the DC universe. And as you can tell, they've turned all the characters not white. Oh, no, wait, they, they haven't actually done that. Uh, but... <laughs> Um, anyway, sorry, I just had to plug that in after all these months of, of people going nuts uh, about these kinds of things. Um, at the end of the day, Future State is is really uh, a future. It, it's it's the it's the it's future's end. It's the next generation of DC characters and and kind of what their children and other things would be like. There's three camps as a billet. There's a Batman family, a Superman family, and the Superman family connects into Wonder Woman. And then Justice League, which is, for lack of a better word, just the everything else. We'll just kind of wave hands, everything else. And I think that's an important note in, as we go into this. I think we're going to start seeing the world of DC in Superman, Batman, uh, you know, Superman and Friends, which will include Wonder Woman, Batman, and then Justice League. And Justice League will be this kind of catch-all term to be to be the rest. But anyway, so what do we got? Uh, a bunch of DC talent, Mariko Tamaki, Brian Michael Bendis, uh, Gene Young, Joel A. Jones, Joshua Williamson, Nicola Scott, Cully Hammer, John Timms. A um, little bit worried that I don't see, um, uh, well, there's there's Ben Diddy's name. Um, anyway, uh, John Ridley. I don't know why they're calling him other people here, but uh, that's Brandon. No, Brandon Vietti. I see I read it wrong. Uh, where's, where's, ah, I'm all discombobulated. Okay. So anyway, Here's what we've got, um, and here is uh, basically the Batman family. In the future, Gotham City is controlled by the magistrate. The villainous regime has taken over the city, and now under constant surveillance. All mass vigilantes have been outlawed. Batman has been killed, uh, but led by an all-new Batman. A new assembly of Gotham's guardians rise to give hope. Okay, so this is kind of the dark future of Batman. This is headlined by the next Batman, which is John Ridley's book. Uh, this is expected to be the, uh, the Luke Fox uh, version. Of Batman. I think we got a couple covers here. Yeah, there's another one. This is the Batman with no uh, mask shown, no no mouth in there. It's okay. Um, and then um, we got uh, Dark Detective by Mariko Tamaki. Um, and that is, and then also we've got noted here, uh, Matt Rosenberg is over here doing Grifters and Joshua Williamson doing Red Hood. So here's Doc, uh, you know, Dark Detective. Um, this, this is, I'm get. I mean, this is Tim. I, I, you know, anyway, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, and then we have a bunch of other series, including Batman Superman by Gene Lu Yang. We've got Catwoman by Ram V, Ram V, 
Why am I saying Ram V? Uh, Harlequin by Stephanie Phillips. Uh, Nightwing by Andrew Constant. And Robin Eternal by Megan Fitzmartin. And so here's a couple of views of that. Um, note this is the, the, the Luke Fox Batman uh, by the look of it. And then here is um, maybe Bruce Wayne isn't dead. Here's a different Bruce Wayne. And we've got uh, going right here. And then the Superman family. Actually, wait, before we do that, uh, we got a couple different covers here. Here's Batman, Superman. Here's a little look at Catwoman. Here is Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn looking a little different there. Here is Nightwing. Nightwing's looking about the same. Uh, and then Robin Eternal. There we go. All right. So uh, then down here, we've got the Superman family, and this is due to his involvement in an international crisis happening in the near future. Clark Clint has been rejected by Earth, causing him to focus on his life-saving efforts outside of his adopted home. He travels to War World to rise to the ranks of gladiatorial combat in order to defeat Mongol uh, with the help of some unlikely heroes. So meanwhile, uh, on Earth, John Kent has taken on the mantle of Superman, and he bottles Metropolis in order to keep it safe, putting him at odds with Supergirl. And so we've got uh, some Mr. Miracle. Meanwhile, in the Amazon rainforest, uh, Yara Floor is chosen to be the new Wonder Woman. Years later, the new Superman and Wonder Woman join forces to save the city, and so on. So here's the Superman of Metropolis. We've got a bottled uh, Metropolis uh, for some reason. That's what, we, that's what John Kent has decided to do. And then um, we've got Superman Worlds of War, which is the, uh, you know, the Superman. This has got a, a Clark... Um, uh, sorry, a, a, a Hulk breaker uh, <laughs> kind of feel to it. But anyway, this is Superman off on the Mongol world uh, fighting there, and I'm assuming Dark Side comes into play at some point. Note, by the way, the the other stories featuring Jonathan Kent, Guardian, Mr. Miracle. Here we've got Worlds of War. Here we're going to have uh, Midnighter is going to be in this, uh, as well as some more Mr. Miracle. And here is our new Wonder Woman. She's got herself a necklace. So that's that's nice. And like those this hair streaks, which are uh, also is so fashionable. Uh, this is the immortal uh, Diana Prince. And then we got Kara Zarel, uh, Superwoman. There we go. And uh, Legion of Superheroes. Legion of Superheroes of note is still written by Brian Michael Bendis here in the future state. So that's cool. Um, there's a couple characters that have the handy capable missing legs bit, uh, which we'll get to in a minute. But anyway, here's Wonder Woman and Superman. And here's, uh, you know, Lex Luthor. That's a, it's all right. Got a little, little mystery face there. Imperious Lex. And then here's our new Wonder Woman. And uh, she's, she's having fun. Okay. Anyway, uh, meanwhile, in the Justice League family, the catch-all for everything else. So we've got, uh, here's our new look at the Justice League. So we've got our Batman, our Wonder Woman, uh, our new Flash. We've got uh, our uh, Green Lantern here. Looks like our Far Sector Green Lantern and Wolverine. Uh, so that's good. No, no, that that looks like Mira or or not. Sorry, the 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 daughter of Aquaman is what we've got there. Got a lot of people trying to send me mail. The chimes get in the way of a video. Anyway, uh, in this we're talking about a thread of great change runs through the Justice League heroes. New Justice League is built upon secret identities, even from each other. But an old and involved enemy will use these secrets to try and overthrow the world. For Flash, Shazam, the Teen Titans, the Ford Riders of the Apocalypse unleash hell in a battle of Titans Academy. Barry Allen is cut off from the Speed Force. A famine-controlled Wally West may be beyond saving. And Billy Bastion makes a deal with the devil that will change Shazam forever. Meanwhile, Jon Stewart and the remaining Green Lanterns are stranded in the shadow of a dead power battery. Um, you know, Jackson Hyde, Andy Curry are separated across the galaxy. Amanda Waller executes her ultimate plan with a new terrifyingly familiar Suicide Squad on Earth-3. Uh, meanwhile, Swamp Thing reveals his true intention, ruling supreme, and Black Adam looks to the past. Okay, so we got a bunch of uh, pieces there. Um, Last Lanterns. This is, uh, well, this is Green Lantern here. Uh, power rings are always not working well. Also featuring Guy Gardner and Jessica Cruz. Here's our new Suicide Squad. Uh, which is the Earth-3 kind of crazy misshapen Justice League. Here's our second character who's lost their legs. Uh, Batman's got a knife. Uh, anyway, and here is our kind of our new Aquaman, who's not a man. And uh, the Flash, bad things are happening there. And our Teen Titans. And Shazam. There's Necron. 
and uh, Swamp Thing taking over the taking over the planet. Anyway, so that's that's basically a good look at what we've got coming from Future State. It's a two month uh, potential possible future about the DC universe until DC doesn't really want to acknowledge it anymore. And, you know, and this will bridge the gap to whatever is coming in, um, you know, in the in the future. So a bunch of little kind of things here, a bunch of creators that we know. So what do we think about all this? I mean, in general, as I said before, this is kind of what it was always meant to be. Looks like it's compressed a little bit to speed it up, which is probably a good thing to just kind of get get this from you know one side to you know from one place to another rather than dragging it out. That's probably not a bad idea. And in general, yeah, this is this is DC Future State. After months and months and months of agonizing and everything else, is it as bad and terrible as you believe? Does it is it a is it a meh? Uh, is it as amazing? You're excited about it. What do you think about DC Future State? Um, so much, so many uh, comments and, and concerns and everything else about what it was meant. It's, it's nice and refreshing a little bit that it turned out to be pretty much what I said from the very beginning. So yay me, yay, I guess. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, what comes after still, what comes in March is really the big question. How many of these creators got a bunch of people uh, coming in, some very familiar names to Marvel. Uh, VDI Ella is on some books. Matt Rosenberg's on some books. Um, is this kind of the the new kind of family of talent that's coming in or not? What do we think about all this stuff? Let me know in the in the thoughts and comments below. DC Future State, here it is, laid bare. You like it or you don't like it? Let me know in the comments. So like, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, follow me on social media, send me an email. There you have it. Thanks for listening.